वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज यू एस इज इंक्रीजिंग इट्स प्रेशर अपॉन इथियोपियन फेडरल गवर्नमेंट टू स्टार्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ पीस एग्रीमेंट मोर देन टेन डेज अगो एग्रीमेंट वॉज साइन बट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन हैज नॉट स्टार्टेड सो फार स्पेशली सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट लाइक delivery of aid to tigray what did us say to ethiopian federal government a few hours ago uh, secondly viewers uh, some meetings have been held of volkayat and raya committees committees which have been struggling for years that uh, volkayat and raya are part of the amhara region and uh, some meetings were held in bahirdar as well reported with participation of uh, amhara regional government officials now two proposals are being floated by these committees about the future status of raya and volkayat are these proposals acceptable to tigray and third viewers every time Somalia's president visits Eritrea we see new Somalia soldiers uh, being under training in Eritrea more than 5000 Somalia's soldiers were sent to Eritrea more than 2 years ago for basic military training in July Hassan Sheikh visited uh, Eritrea and back then we saw somalia's naval forces being trained by uh, eritrean navy and today we saw somalia's air force cadets being trained in eritrea while hassan sheikh visited eritrean aviation college is somalia interested in the return of its soldiers from eritrea Firstly, viewers, uh, U.S. is increasing its pressure upon Ethiopian federal government to accelerate the implementation of peace agreement. If you remember, uh, after the signing of the peace agreement, Ridwan Hussain said that U.S. played a key role. U.S. convinced uh, TPLF to sign the peace agreement. TPLF negotiators flew. Uh, through a us air force jet which took them from makale to pretoria south africa my camer was in south africa when talks were held for around uh, for more than a week so us was a key player in facilitation of peace agreement uh, signed in pretoria now us wants implementation of the agreement and uh, Uh, a few hours ago us state department's uh, africa bureau released a statement uh, a message made public by us state department's africa bureau uh, the us state department said that it was waiting for urgent implementation of peace agreement that uh, there must be a uh, immediate restoration of basic services in tigray uh, the africa bureau of uh, state department says that in nairobi kenya ridwan hussain a uh, national security advisor of ethiopia said that by weekend aid would start flowing into tigray this action is being awaited similarly accountability for war crimes committed is being awaited us uh, state department africa bureau us government is waiting for these actions uh, uh, for the implementation of peace agreement so this uh, message is uh, not a warning but uh, us is sending uh, a clear signal to ethiopian federal government that it should accelerate the implementation of peace agreement and humanitarian clauses must be implemented forthwith edwan hussain a few hours ago claimed that uh, 
aid was flowing into Tigray like uh, never before, but uh, the claim has been rejected by Tigray uh, leader Degata Choreda and aid workers. Uh, no considerable improvement in delivery of aid to Tigray. U.S. role is crucial in uh, keeping this deal intact. Uh, TPLF listens to U.S. mainly. Now, uh, when uh, aid delivery to Tigray has not uh, improved, uh, it means that Ethiopian government is waiting for some progress in Nairobi where talks are being held between Tigray military commanders and Ethiopian National Defense Force military commanders. The talks are about disarmament of TPLF combatants. In the next video, we'll give you an update on the ongoing talks in Nairobi, Kenya. So far, no improvement in Libya A to Tigray. That is why US is not happy. It wants implementation of Humanitarian clauses of the peace agreement. Uh, secondly, viewers, uh, Volkayat and Raya committees held their meetings uh, and they held some meetings with uh, Amhara regional government officials too in Bahirdar. And now some proposals are being floated to dissolve Tagarai Amhara dispute over Raya and Volkayat. Raya is Southern Tigray, also called Southern Tigray. Volkai, Thumara Sagar, they also call Western Tigray. Both regions have their claim to these two zones. The two zones now are under the control of Amhara forces. Uh, Volkai, since November 2020, after the start of the war, came under uh, END of Amhara control. Raya changed hands, but uh, Around a month ago, almost entire Raya, Southern Tigray, Koram el etc., came under the control of Amhara forces, ENDF. The proposals uh, floated by the two committees, or you can say by Amhara regional government unofficially, is that referendum should be held in Raya about its future status. It should be part of Tigray or Amhara. Referendum should decide that. But no referendum in Volkai. Volkai is Amhara. No question of any negotiations on Volkai. Volkai, part of Amhara, referendum can be held in uh, Raya. I think uh, Amhara regional government through these uh, committees uh, is making an offer to Tigray that Amhara regional government can make concessions on Raya not on Volkayat. For Tigray, Volkayat matters more than Raya. Tigray would ideally like both, but if Tigray has to choose between Raya and Volkayat, Tigray would definitely choose uh, Volkayat. Let's see. Uh, these are just proposals. Uh, Tigray is not talking about Raya Volkayat these days. It is mainly focused on disarmament talks and about Delivery of aid to Tigray, but uh, it seems that the, today's uh, uh, statements and uh, meetings of the two committees uh, indicate that Amhara region might make concessions on Raya, but not on Volkai. Lastly, viewers, every time Hassan Sheikh, Somalia's president, visits Eritrea, we see new. Uh, Somalia soldiers being under training in Eritrea. Uh, more than two years ago, um, around 5,000 Somalia soldiers were sent to Eritrea for basic military course. Uh, the soldiers did not return, though no basic training course, uh, army training course lasts more than two years. Rumors abundant that uh, Eritrea is demanding money, that Eritrea deployed these uh, Somalia troops to Tigray, that uh, Eritrea will never return these soldiers to Somalia, uh, that Hassan Sheikh uh, went to US uh, to seek US support to give money to Isaias Avaki, all rumors. But every time Hassan Sheikh visits Eritrea, we see new soldiers undertaking. 
in july when he visited uh, eratia we saw uh, somalia's uh, uh, land uh, forces soldiers and naval forces soldiers too somalia's navy uh, is being trained by eratia eratia does not have very uh large navy uh, mainly speed boats were being used to train somalia's navy we saw pictures of hassan sheikh with uh, somalia's naval uh, officers uh, and members uh, in july then today hassan sheikh once again in eritrea and visited the uh, eritrean college of aviation eritrean aviation college where more than 200 uh, somalia's cadets air force cadets are being trained by eritrea so somalia's air force somalia's navy and somalia's uh, land forces are being trained by eritrea people are asking questions is hassan sheikh interested in the return of uh, 5000 somalia soldiers in eritrea over the last two years some people say that uh, regional states in somalia are not willing to allow federal government of somalia to deploy federal troops to their regions these 5000 soldiers are federal soldiers where will they be deployed regional governments like uh, uh, gulmudug uh, phirshabale others they uh, jubaland they will not allow federal government to deploy federal forces and secondly how to arm these somalia soldiers if they return to somalia how to feed them how to pay them several questions some say that uh, somalia is not interested in the return of its soldiers because it wants to create consensus in somalia between the federal government and regional governments before the start of return of its soldiers from eritrea but uh, somalia's government's official position is that it wants return of its soldiers it is in talks with eritrea about the return of its soldiers from eritrea there is something fishy there is something fishy both sides especially somalia's government uh, is not uh, uh, sharing uh, clear information uh, with the people what is the reason behind delayed return of somalia soldiers from eritrea is it due to demand of money from eritrea or is it due to internal dispute between somalia as a federal government and regional governments thank you for watching